WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny and beautiful Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. You've got the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ trading lower. 30 points, 1 point, and 31 points. Nothing more than two-tenths of a percent. Russell is trading up by one and three-tenths percent. That's a 24-point move. Uh, semis are flat, down three points. Trannies are up 116. New York Stock Exchange is up. You've got gold off a buck 40. Silver down 11 cents. Light recruit is up 220. Natural gas is off 12 cents. The 30-year Treasury is basically flat, printed out at 115.07. Seven. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini upper left hand corner. What do we know about it? Well, what we know about it is uh, first is traded above yesterday's high has not traded below yesterday's low. There's no topping pattern out here. The ES mini continues to be bullish. Period. End of story, at least as of 11 o'clock in the morning. That could change by day's end, but that's not what we've got right now. If you take a look at the spot follow tilt index, index traded well below that 50-day exponential moving average, that always is a positive for the buyers. If we take a look at the NQ, it is attempting to form a new profile. It's fairly narrow in range. No idea whether this profile will hold or not, but we use the information as we've got it. Resistance out here, 15,965, support at 15,712. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, the U.S. dollar index needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a buy the D point pattern. Short of that, we should see price target 103.66, maybe 103.04. Goldilocks running into resistance. You got the U.S. dollar index moving back. Gold running into those sellers. Those sellers are sitting in really two different spots. The first level of sellers is at 1989. The second level of sellers is at 2009.20. If we take a look at silver, silver yesterday closed just above that TD9 count break down level it's also uh it's a swing point from back on october the 20th so in essence it's triggered an a to b equals c to the upside it would be best for it to stay above 2388 its price projection is 2495 that's the one to one price projection if you notice you can see that price is along the left side of that c to d leg it's currently got a stronger move than it did along that a to b leg lights being crude it's an a to b equals cd pattern to the downside it's also trading below profile level this needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a buy the d point pattern natural gas is toast it is negating it's by the D point pattern and it'll accomplish that task if it closes below uh, the low from November the 10th. That low is two dollars and ninety eight cents out there in the 30 year Treasury. It's in an A to B equals CD to the upside as long as it can close above one fifteen thirty eight. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed show. But if you have to start your Friday, please have a fantastic one. Have a great weekend. And thanks so much for joining us.